Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Satisfactory. And I'm coming back from a bit of a break from the game, but there's a new build out uh, on the experimental branch. And the way you get the experimental, uh, experimental branch is you... If you open up the Epic Game Client, there'll be a new game you can install, and it's basically the same game, but it's the experimental branch. So it has all this new stuff in it. Uh, I'll put a bunch of the details about the, from the patch notes in the description of the video. But I'll just briefly go over some of them here. We got uh, conveyor lifts, which are like uh, kind of like belts that go vertically. Um, I'll show those off in this video. Uh, there's the whole quartz research chain. There's a new vehicle, like a, a faster, smaller vehicle called the Explorer. Uh, there's a new map. So if you hit Z, it opens up this map, which you can uh, zoom into. And you can build radars to uh, kind of expose more of the map. So what else do we got? Oh, we got gunpowder, explosives, ammo, an automatic weapon, a rifle. Uh, so many, so many new things. I'll try to go over it. There's been um, some other changes and balance stuff like the uh, alt recipes, the alternative recipes that you can learn. You can't handcraft those anymore. Uh, fabric now requires biomass instead of uh, uh, leaves or leaves. I think it was before. Uh, there's more parts at the crash sites if you start a new map. And I noticed, or I read about one bug, I haven't tried it out myself, but... And it deals with power shards, and they might have fixed it since... Since I, uh, started playing, but... Basically, if you put a stack of power shards into a building to upgrade it, it consumes the whole stack. So, uh, be careful. Just split the, split the pile before you put the power shard in, so you only put one in, just in case that bug is still there. There's been some quality of life changes as well. Uh, if you open up your, if you hit tab, you open up your inventory, there's multiple hand slots now. So it makes it a bit easier to, to do stuff. Uh, there's tool tips on items. So if you hover over an item, you can see what's required to make it, which is super handy. And what else is there? The compass has been updated, so you can actually read the, the locations that you set with beacons. Before it was impossible to read them, but now it's a bit better. And finally, but not uh, not everything. Finally, I'll, uh, the jetpack shows the fuel required. So there's the hub down there. I'm way up on this ladder that I built in a previous episode that goes way up to the top of the map. But I'll just kind of point out the spots in the base. Actually, I'll get into the new stuff right away. I haven't made too many changes. I brought a belt over to bring sulfur in along this way. And I kind of put a room around my smelter area, which is down there. And I built out some basic stuff. I've done the research. Let's fall down here. Whoa. Um, I've done the research, most of it off camera, just because it takes time. And I wanted to show you all the stuff that you can open up without having to wait for it. So I'll quickly show that in here. So. It's all under tier four. And I was wondering for a few minutes, I actually had to search in Google how to, how to get this stuff. You basically, um, let's just see here. To open up Explorer, you need to, well, here's what you get. You get the map, you get quartz crystals, so you can turn quartz ore into quartz crystals. You get the crystal oscillator, you get the Explorer, and you get the ability to scan raw quartz. So that's the, Explore kind of tier. It's all under tier four though. And then explosives, which up opens up all this stuff. Gunpowder, equipment, uh, this detonator and explosive thing. And the ability to scan for sulfur. But to open all this stuff up, what you need to do is take some sulfur, go to the MAM and research it. And I've already done that, so. And I've just researched this uh, noblesque thing here. It'll probably talk to me here. You have shown adequate restraint concerning explosives. I have weighed the danger levels of this planet against your chance of survival. Conclusion, a new milestone is now accessible in Tier 5. Okay, so in order to open the thing that I just showed you, you need to do the basic sulfur research first. So you need to bring, I think it's 25 or... So I think it's 25 sulfur or 50 sulfur here. Research that. I think it takes 15 or 20 minutes. Same thing with raw quartz. That'll open up some stuff. 
And then once you've opened up sulfur, you're able to make um, make this uh, noblest thing, which opens up even more research. So I hope that's clear. Um, so like I said, you need to go mine some sulfur first. Here's some right here. And some quartz ore, which looks like this. Now if you start in the northern forest, I'll just show you in the map here. So you start around here, and there's a, there's maps online now that are really detailed that, like, if you Google satisfactory map, with all the nodes and everything. But over here to the east, I thought it was to the east. I'm all turned around now. Maybe I won't be able to see it all. No, there it is. Way far east is the quartz that I found. And then to the west is, I label it as gunpowder, but it's actually sulfur. Gotta change that label. Let's go see what I just unlocked, because I'm not even sure. Uh, under tier 5. Radar tower. That's the thing I'm about to research, but it, it said it unlocked something else. Oh, the rifle! Cartridge and rifle. Okay, but I won't do those yet. I will get this radar technology done. I've already loaded in some of the ingredients here. So I've... It's 25 heavy modular frame, 100 engines. These crystal oscillators and the beacon. So I set up a really basic crystal oscillator um, assembly thing over here. I'll show you. It's really, it's not the full thing. It's just three containers that I fill with reinforced iron plate, quartz crystal, and cables. That feeds into a manufacturer. As you can see here, I've overclocked the crap out of it and that'll pump out crystal oscillators. And I should have enough made here. I've been putting them in a container. Let's see, I got 75. Okay, good, that should be enough to unlock stuff. And in previous episodes, I set up this long conveyor belt, which comes over from the quartz mine. And it was just dumping into these containers right here because I didn't know what like was going to be unlocked, so I just stored a bunch of them. And I set up a really basic uh, three constructors. I first built uh, smelters, thinking that you smelt these things, but you don't. You construct them into quartz crystal. So I just got a bunch storing away in here. I'm going to grab a bunch, actually, so I can start filling up again, and then I'll plunk those in that container that I just showed you over here. I probably won't get to everything this episode because it'll be research and stuff, but hopefully I can show you a bunch of the new stuff. Okay, let's get that quartz in there. I think it's control click to bring everything over. Yeah. And we're out of cable, so I'll have to bring some cable over. And I'm out of iron plate. Ideally, I'm going to reset this up so that I actually build those components. Uh, not here, because I'm out of space. I'll probably do it over here in this giant space here. I'll fill this in. Fill this in with uh, platforms. I won't do it all now, but... That way I won't have to drag all those materials over every time. So that's that. I also set up some gunpowder production over here. But first I'll get that milestone unlocked. Then I'll show you the gunpowder stuff. I got a whole bunch of junk laid out here. That's what the gunpowder looks like. This is the experimental build. I've noticed the frame rate is really crappy, so I'm pretty sure that'll improve when they come out with the real thing. Okay, let's unlock this. Uh, launch pod. Let's radar watch it. Watch it go off. The radar tower automatically charts and updates the map of your fixit approved designated zone in a radius dependent on its height. Initial charting takes a variable amount of time. Okay, so we want to place them in high areas. I don't know what it takes to build a radar tower. It's probably in here now. Uh, I'll show you these. This uh, gunpowder is made from coal and sulfur. 
and the detonator is made out of five object scanners which don't stack so it's make sure you have inventory space encased industrial beam and cable I've already made one of those I think it's just reusable I'm not sure if it's reusable forever but and then the nobelisk nobelisk this thing uh, pipe beacons and gunpowder actually let's see if we can construct that radar tower it's probably under organization yeah Okay, that takes uh, those thingies, the new thing. Okay, I got everything I need to build one. Oh, they're huge. I'm going to build one here and then deconstruct it later. It's not going to help us here. Oh, wow. Holy crap, look at that thing. <laughs> That's the first time I built one. Uh, that was very pleasing. Can we climb this thing? Is there a ladder inside? There is. Very cool. Okay, I gotta go up. I gotta t check this out. That's a very long climb. But we gotta do it for science. Maybe there's an Easter egg up here. Oh, we can only go to here. Oh no, there's another ladder. Okay, that's a little bit precarious. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. I almost fell off. It's multi-leveled. Okay, we're going all the way. Here we are. There she is. Okay, let's deconstruct it while we're on it. Will we get to the bottom before it's gone? <laughs> okay, there it's gone. Okay, so I want to go to a high place and put that. I do have a mountain in mind that I might go build that at. There's a kind of a high point over there. Could do it at. That's not too far away. I don't know how far away we have to go though, because this looks pretty this looks pretty exposed already. But we'll see. We'll go over there and build one later. I'll show you the gunpowder setup here. I thought I would have to unlock more tiers in the space elevator, but that doesn't come until uh, probably a month from now. Okay, gunpowder. I'm sending in coal on one belt here. The bottom belt and the top belt is sulfur. That's going into a couple of buffer containers. Which I was feeding manually first before I set up these belts. Notice the texture is not working for the sulfur yet here when it's on a belt. I reported that as a bug. And then over here, we got the assembler making gunpowder. 18.75 per minute. And I'll just show you how the explosion stuff works. I kind of want to do it on one of those stinky, poisonous trees. Are there any over there? I know where there are some, but... Uh, maybe I'll go over to the place where I know they are. It's pretty close. It's where I set up the sulfur, and I'll show you the vertical elevator thing. But I gotta double check if uh, all my research is done here. Hard drive, I've already... Oh, you can research these now, but they don't do anything, so don't bother. As far as I know. It says they're about to do something, but it doesn't actually do anything. Pod launched. Okay, we gotta wait for that to come back. The rifle. We're gonna need oh a bunch of bunch of wire, bunch of cable, and a lot of these things. Okay. I guess I won't I won't do that right away, but we can probably feed some parts in here. Well, we'll wait till it gets back. And while we're waiting, I'll go play with the explosive stuff. Let's make some of those more of those. I already had a few, but let's make some more. As I mentioned, you can't you can't handcraft uh, alternative recipes anymore. And I have a feeling they slowed it down, but maybe not. Okay, that's probably good. Twenty three. Oh, I'm out of gunpowder. I should have grabbed some anyway. 
Do we have enough to build a radar? Let's set that up as well. Take the manufacturer off the to-do list. Okay, we are good for, to build a radar tower. But we're gonna head over this way. I should probably should have shot myself over. Would have been faster. Geronimo. That's that's my sulfur belt right here. And I got a little bit of an express belt to get me over there. This is just to move around. Enjoy the view. Oh, there's a plant down there I could have blown up. But there's some up ahead I'm going to do instead. There's some right here. Okay, let's get ready. Uh, we need this thing. A detonator, so you equip this. Then you reload, and you left click to place the explosive, and once it's placed, it's placed for good. So you gotta make sure you get it in the right place. So let's pop that down right here. That's left click to drop it. And you can blow yourself up, so be careful. Uh, and then right click, I think, to explode it. Perfect. Beautiful. You clear out all those plants. And you can do more than one at a time, so let's 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 put a bunch down and then have a nice chain reaction. Oh I can't really get in there. Oh that's all stink plant in there. Okay, I don't want to go in there. Too stinky. Apparently the oh here comes the the ray, the manta. I'm gonna get on top of it for no particular reason. Actually, ah, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Can I get on it? Can I get on it? Can I get on it? Oh, oh. This is a cruel, cruel, but I'm gonna do this. Oh, it fell right through. <laughs> okay, never mind. We get knocked off here by the tree. I think. Oh, it didn't knock us off. Nice. Oh, okay, I'm gonna ride him then. Cause this takes us kind of where we want to go. Oh, actually, we're going to get knocked off here. I bet. Yeah, this tree knocked us off. Okay. I'll show you the sulfur area while I'm over here. I should go blow up whatever I set back there. <laughs> Can't see it. So I'm west of the base. And this is where the sulfur is down here. You can blow trees up with this thing too. Let's try that. Set one here. Set one over here. Reload first. Okay, let's try to both two things up at once. Nice. Goodbye trees. I guess the downside of doing that is you don't get the wood and leaves and stuff. They're gone. But with these you can also blow up those those blockages of rocks, the big round boulders that are blocking certain areas. I haven't tried it yet, but maybe we'll try it this episode if I can find one. I think I have a few charted on the map. That might be one down there actually. Is it? Is it? Let's go see. Uh, is that a blockage? I can't even tell from here. Oh no, those are stinky rocks, I think. Stink rocks. Uh, that might be one down here. I'm going down here. The sulfur is over that way, which I'll show you right after here. Oh. Is this a blockage? It is, I think. Is it? Yeah. So I think you can blow these up. Like I said, I haven't tried, but here we go. Oh, that might not be close enough. Oh, it worked. It worked. What have we got in here? We got a cave. Oh. And more blockages. Oh, I can't fit in here. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, I better get some... Some weaponry out here. Just in case. 
just in case. Oh, we got some ore up there. Hmm. I have a feeling I will find some spiders. This was not part of the plan, but here we are. Goes up that way. What do we got here? Just limestone. Oh, purple slug in here. Purple slug. I think it's purple. It's purple when you pick it, when you see it like this, but once you've picked it up it, and put it back down, it changes color. Okay. Lovely. Anything else in here? I'm guessing that's probably going to be it, but you never know. Some ore down there. I think that's it. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Back out we go. I think... Which is the way I want to go. <laughs> I think it was kind of... Up this way. <laughs> I'll follow the light. You gotta love caves behind waterfalls. It's like the best... The best thing. So there's a vertical... Um, conveyor lift thing that I built. I'm going to head over this way first, though. Because I think I saw... Oh, no, those are just nodes down there. Okay. Down we go. Here's my steam geyser power thermal generator. So we got a Mark II miner here. We got two sulfur, sulfur nodes, I think. I think, I can't remember what these were, normal or... MK2 miner is giving us... Oh, it's triple overclocked, 300 sulfur per minute. Goes in a storage container as a buffer and then up this way. And here's the lift. And these things are pretty freaking awesome. I actually started to build up this way and then I remembered, oh, we got these things now. So I'll just show you how how they kind of snap together. Under logistics, um, conveyor lift mark four. So they got an input point, which is that side. Once you click left click once, uh, you can kind of stretch it out, kind of like the. You're just I'm just moving the mouse up. And there is a max height there. So I'll click that. And it kind of auto sets up the next one, as you can see right up there. Actually, let me shrink this one. I'll make a shorter one because that one's a little bit crazy. Let's build a shorter one here. So we'll go with this high. Then it automatically starts to build the next one, like that. And they kind of go end to end like this. Like that. Kind of like little telephones. Back in the day when telephones looked like that, telephone receivers. Now there's no actual belt. You don't have to build a belt from here to here. It just automatically works. So let's actually stick, let's stick something on the end here. I'm gonna put a container down. Uh, right here. Connect this up. And we'll stick something in here. I don't know. Fuel. There it goes. So it teleports from here to here automatically. Pretty freaking awesome. I like it. But we need all this back, so... You can't ride them. I tried. Yeah, I tried to just jump on here and ride up, but it doesn't work. At least when I tried it. Maybe someone will figure out how to do it. Got some lag. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that's taking it all the way up to the top there. Saved me a bunch of time. Let's get rid of this weapon. Don't need that right now. 
The only downside I think of having multiple slots like this is you can't put anything away. You have to be you have to be holding something. And I don't like to be holding stuff in my inventory. Let's put on our legs so we can run a bit faster here. So they said the experimental build will be out for a few days to a week, depending on how many bugs they have to fix. Let's get up here and ride the ride the rails home. So I'll try to get that radar tower built. Uh, maybe I'll do it over in that place that I saw that's pretty high up. I'd like to get the car built this episode. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it. Someone said you can scan for um, summer sloop and stuff now, but it doesn't I haven't been able to do it. This is the scenic tour, the scenic ride. Yeah, way over in the distance there. That's where I'm going to build my my radar tower. See if it works. See how it works. I do want to get the next piece of research going, though, if, if there is a piece I need. I almost fell to my death there. That would have been fun. Actually, I should not run over. I should use this thing. I'll just show you my smelting hut. In here is all the smelting for iron. I think this update also has the super fast belts, Mark 5 and Mark 6. I'm not sure how to unlock them yet, but we'll get there. If they're, if they're available, we'll get there. Okay, for the rifle, we need, oh yeah, all this stuff. 50 Nobelisk. Let's get, let's try to get this done. Uh, cable, I need 500 cable. I need a lot of stuff here. I'm going to go get this 3000 cable because I got some stored in the basement. The old base used to be down here in this uh, area. And then I kind of ran out of room. I was in a little bit of a valley here with rocks on every side. So I built the sky base up there. And I still got lots of materials down here that I'm gonna slowly migrate up to the base or use up. But we need 3,000 of these. Let's take them all up. And we need modular frame and cable. I got some cable upstairs, I think. This is my old iron production up here. I think this is the one that's only really being used. Actually, not that one. That one over there, I think. Oh, here's my vertical... I was testing these lifts out. Okay. Uh, I have a launch pad here somewhere. Yeah, let's take this. are running around. Oh, the other quality of life thing they did is you don't have to jump up on the hub anymore. You can just walk up. Ah, oh, so good. Okay, what do we need here? Let's pop this in here. Can you control click on these? No. Nope. Shift click. No, I guess we can just do it this way. Okay, that's done. We need cable and modular frames. Okay. Let's put some of these cables away. I don't need them all. Oh, I got some modular frame in there I can use. 
and here maybe. Got some more in here. I got chunk everywhere. I have a bit of a mall where I have stuff I can go get, but it's spread out all over the place. It's more like a distributed mall. Okay, let's put those modular frames in. Cable. And I got cable being made over here. Let's go get that. Hopefully there's enough stocked away. Yeah, it looks like it'll be full. That'll be good. Grab all of that, I guess. Is there a fast way back over? Yeah, we'll take... Actually, we'll just run. It's not too far. Okay, so... Get the cable in there. And I'll handcraft some modular frames, I guess. I do have some... being stored away, I think. Somewhere. I hate handcrafting. <laughs> uh, we need more plate. Let's put those in there. And we need more explosive. Which I... are not ex explosives. What are these things called? Novelisk. We need some gunpowder. Let's make some more beacons first. Looks like we need some rods. Which I have in here somewhere. Let's grab this. Put these over here. Uh, sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. There we go. Oh, we got heavy plate here. I can use that. Okay. Oh, rods. I need rods. I stacked a bunch of them up here. Let's grab these. I'll have to automate all this because I don't like handcrafting. And let's go grab some gunpowder so we can do that. I did put some on the ground here. That's not enough. It's not a far run though. It's right here. So we'll grab a few stacks. I should probably automate the Nobelisk first because I'm going to need a bunch of those. Okay, I probably don't want to handcraft all of these. But I think we'll have to. I want to get that rifle unlocked. And I'm going to run out of pipe first, it looks like. Oh, but I have enough, I think. Just enough. Oh, and then modular frames. Okay, th those we can do here. Just need ten of those and then we're done. Okay. Beautiful. Watch that sucker. The rifle. Rifles can now be crafted at the workbench. They require cartridges to function. I am now obligated to inform you of fix-it rifle policies. Note, aim the barrel away from your body. It is the part with the hole in it. Note, assume all alien life is hostile. 
Note, R&D's Ballistics Lab has a recommended music playlist on Fixit servers. Nice random knowledge there. Oh yeah, so don't put don't put the hole towards your head. That makes sense. What do we do here? Cartridges require Nobelisk and height. Rifle requires all this stuff. Okay. Cool, we need pipe. Do I have any stored away? I do indeed. Being a hoarder is good. Oh, and cartridge. I need more of these things first. Okay, we'll make a few of these. And cartridges. Okay, and the rifle. Only have to make that once, I think. Oops, that thing looks pretty badass. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that going. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> look at the little keychain. Load her up. No sounds for that yet. Okay, that's fine. How do I aim? I always assume right-clicking is aiming, but... Nope. I think this thing's auto, so... Oh, that's way better than the nail gun. And you gotta reload every 10. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We'll save that little bit of ammo. Maybe we'll try it out on something if we encounter any baddies I've, I've killed most of the wildlife though unfortunately make a few of these we could probably throw our rebar gun out Okay, what else do we have to unlock here? Anything? I think I've unlocked it all. But we still have to unlock the car. Okay, we can scan the rifle. That might unlock the next stuff. Okay, here we go. Maybe I will have to build another rifle. Uh, let's stick that in there. After I de-equip it. Oh, they're going to take it away right after we built it. Hmm. Forty-five minutes. Yeah, that's not going to be done this episode. But we can go build a radar tower. Let's go do that. Okay, radar tower. Do I have everything I need? I do. Let's go do that. Get our flashlight on. Since it's getting dark out, the ghosties are going to get us. Do I have any explosives left? If I find any caves, I want to be able to open them up. So Let's get some of those first. And I should probably drop some extra crap that I have on me here. That's probably good. Don't need all this. Can't use the bullets, don't have a gun. Okay, that's probably good. Uh, let's just get rid of these. And the purple slug. We'll deal with him. Deal with him later. There are some really tall mountains in this game that I should probably put the radar on, but that looks pretty good up there. Or I should have shot myself over there. I always forget to use these jump pads. Here we go. Swoosh. And we got lag. Sometimes when you lag, it seems like you go higher. 
And I do have a bit of a highway system here. I can just chill out on the belt. Sun's going down. I like to I like to try to record during the day. So the viewers can see better. I think I can safely propel myself over there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh oh. <laughs> Just made it. Okay. There's a new song that they added to the game. It's like a really dark kind of techno-y... Oh, I don't know about techno, but kind of... Electronic music kind of sounding thing. Did I forget the beacons? Oh, jeez. Can I make the beacons right here? I used them up. Okay, let's see if I can make... More beacons. Please let me have this stuff. Oh, I, this is not what I want. <laughs> I want the workbench. Yeah, we can make those. Good. That's probably good. I'll get 20 just in case I want another one. Was there like a little drawing on there? Is that new? I don't remember that being there. Sanctum 2. <laughs> cool. Okay. Up we go. As you probably have noticed, I turned the fog off using the console. Because uh, that way I like, I like to be able to see really far in the distance. That's one of the tallest mountains in the game over there. So that might be a good place for a radar. But let's do one up here. Uh, organization. Radar tower. Here we go. We could put it on a foundation. Uh, for even more height. I'm not going to bother though. Let's just get it done. Actually, how much concrete do I have? Not a whole bunch. We'll just put it, put it down here. And there she goes. I should have looked at the map first. Uh, I can't tell if that did anything or not. Does this require power? I never even thought about that. Whether this thing needs power or not. Doesn't look... Oh, configure. Oh, no power. Oh my gosh. Of course it needs power. It's a radar dish. Okay. Power. Hmm. We will need to bring some power over here. That's a long way to bring power. I wonder if there's any geysers around here. Let's just check. That would be handy. No. Oh, that's not really close. That's about the distance of the base. We've got power down there. But it might be easier just to come this way because I already have a platform. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll build a very long power line along there. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build a radar tower somewhere else that's close to power. And we'll come back and power this one later. Because I want to be able to see what it actually does. Okay, where am I going down here? I guess I'll go... I will attempt this jump here. I think we can make it. <laughs> Lag. 
Weird, the leg made me go up really far. <laughs> Don't run out of fuel. Okay, good. Okay, it looks like I can see. It's kind of weird what's what's shown and what's not. Okay, if we go east or west, let's see here, west. There's not much to be uncovered right here. I mean, it's pretty much covered up. Good coverage already. Maybe that's from the hub. I can't really tell. Maybe I'll just plunk one down here and just see how it works. So we do have power here. Somewhere. Gonna dismantle this power line. I'm just gonna plunk one down and see what happens if we power it. Kaboom. Okay, power. And configure. Current scanned area, okay. Time until next scan. Oh, interesting. Now, does that show doesn't really help us <laughs> because this has all been scanned. Actually, it looks like it's doing some scanning here, maybe. I can't remember if it was already like that. Ideally, we would take it east and put one around here. And I think I have power over there, maybe. Cave. Oh, the hub's right there. What the heck? Hmm. Hmm. Can I build another? I think I'm missing stuff. Yeah. Is this one going to do us any good? I don't think so. Tower name. Hmm. We could go over here. I've got, yeah, I've got power over by this quartz. I'm gonna take it over there because I got power there. Is it getting dismantled? Whoa. Yeah, it's a bit of a run, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna go over to the quartz and I should have boosted myself over there. Let's do it here. And here. And we can ride the belt most of the way there, so that's not too bad. I, I really like the look of the quartz or Look at that. Very nice. We'll take the expressway. We can blow those up later with our new found technology. And I have the hiccups. That's always good when you're recording. Okay, where are we? We're going... We're going that way. And I almost fell off. <laughs> I gotta fill this in at some point. It's a little bit precarious. 
nice lag spike as things load in. Okay, we're going east. Yeah, we're going to drop it right by that quartz norm. And see what we can see. Can't wait till we get trains or the monorail. I saw some videos where people had hacked their way in and kind of exposed that stuff. I want to wait till it's actually done and ready, but... But it does look pretty cool. It'll certainly make getting around easier. Okay, let's put our legs on and not forget that we have those on and jump to our death. So that's never fun. Okay, let's check the map here. Oh, it's, it's showing us, it's exposing it just as we walk. We don't even need the radar. Aha, aha. I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay. I should put probably put it on a high point. That looks like a good place up there. Or maybe up there. Here's my quartz miner. Okay, two, 300 per minute. It's super overclocked, it doesn't need to be, but I didn't want to run back and overclock it later. Okay, we're going up there. That looks like a good spot. I think I might need an observation tower to get up there. Lookout tower. Oh, and I almost forgot. Put my jetpack back on. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get all the way up there. Probably should have brought some more concrete, but we can do it. I used, used to get the message the floor is too steep. What the heck? If you built... I think I just broke myself there. The floor is too steep if you tried to build it in a corner. What the heck? I can't climb up here. Oh, the tree is in the way. This is a tree thing. Okay, we can't get up there. I don't think... No, it's blocking us. Okay. Don't die. Maybe I'll do it over there. That looks pretty high too. And we haven't exposed that. Okay, that looks good. That should work. And there's some nuts floating in the air there. Okay, let's go up here. I think I can get there, no problem. Up, up, and away. Okay, do we have a flat enough surface for it? That's the issue. Okay, yeah, this looks good. This will work. Radar tower. Here we go. Oh, and the power. <laughs> I forgot about the power. Hmm. Whoa. It's certainly loud. You know what we could do? I could set up some power here. Could we stick in it? Uh, biomass? We could do a biomass burner. We could do a fuel generator. I can't make that. Biomass burner. You know what? We could do that. And fill it with biofuel. Because we got lots of that. 
That'll work. That'll power it for a while. Do we bring a power thing over? Okay. How much power does that thing use? No power. What? Oh. How much does this use? I think this uses a lot of power. Uh... Hmm. Thirty megawatts. Of course. Of course. Okay, we'll do another biomass burner. I just want to get it working. Can you get the rest of the fuel? What the heck is going on here? That's connected to that. That's connected to that. There we go. And I should have checked my map first, but... Oh yeah, that opened that way up. Look at that. Okay. How fast is eating this fuel? That's not going to last very long. <laughs> we should bring some power up here. It's not too far away. I don't know if I have all the materials for that. I probably don't. Hmm. I may have to come back. I should have chucked, st chucked some... Oh, I couldn't have built a fuel thing anyway. Okay, power poles. I don't think I'll be able to make enough, but we can try. If not, I'll do that off camera. We'll hook up that power, up that radar. Scan that map. Okay, where are you, power? Here you are. Oh, I don't, I don't use that up completely. How much? Yeah, I think I have enough power cables and stuff to get over there. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. As long as we don't run out of cable. Try to go as straight as possible here. Fifty-four cable. Fifty. Oh yeah, well, it should work. Take it right to the base here. Now, which way should I go up there? Uh, go to here. Wires too long. Okay. From there to there. Build it right on the rock. From there to there. Uh, oh yeah, I can't connect there. Okay, we'll put it up on the rock there. Maybe. Right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, now we gotta get up there. Very messy, but it'll work. Okay, from here, well, we'll do it from the top. We'll go from here to here. I'm in the way, okay. I think that's good. We can take these offline. And we're good. Enter name. I'll just, what should I call this thing? It's near the quartz, so I'll name it Quartz Tower. How much power do we have now? We're using 1700 to 5000 megawatts.
Okay, looks good. Looks good. Next scan in one minute. I probably don't want to sit around for one minute. We can enjoy the view. We could look for a secret hidden boulder entrance. While we wait. Try to blow one of those up. I had some on my map. Uranium. Stink cave. <laughs> Way too cool place. I don't know what that is. I have to remove some of my markers. I have too many. Sulfur, quartz tower, bauxite, waterfall cave. Oh, I can't remember. I marked a few of them. We'll just have to find them again. Okay, has a minute passed? I doubt it. Oh. Oh. Let me check them out. Oh, there we go. Okay. I can see this has opened up. I wonder if that's the maximum... Maximum radius there. Oh, wow. That's a tiny little ring, but it opened up quite a bit. Okay. That looks good. Okay, cool. I also have power way down by the uranium down there. I'll probably go build a radar tower down there. Oh, I almost jumped off the cliff there. That is more east of us. East, southeast. Down that way. Actually, that's not going to help us because that'll get scanned anyway. So these things, uh, you gotta spread them out quite a ways. And don't don't be an idiot like me and forget the power. They need power. Well, the other research was gonna take uh, quite some time, so I will do that next episode. I'll try to get the the car thing, the Explorer, and then we can boogie around at high speeds. I've heard it can drive directly up a cliff, like up a 90 degree angle. So that'll be fun to try. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of the new experimental build. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.